Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So in today's video we are going to finish the gun script that we've created in a previous video. So we'll add the loading and we will handle the amount of ammo and the magazine size that each weapon has. So let's get started. So before we get started I want to explain the project that I'm currently working on. Basically I've created this FPS controller and under here we have this weapon holder that contains all of the weapons like the heavy, the pistol and the snipers. Basically we've wrote a weapon switching script to switch between these. And each weapon has a gun script that we've created in a previous video. So that we can set the properties like the range, the impact force and the fire rate of each weapon. So in this video we are going to add the reloading feature. And to do that we need to open up this gun script. But before that, make sure to watch my previous videos about the gun script and the weapon switching. So I'm going to add the links under the video description. But if you have another gun script, you could apply the same logic. So this will work for all of the scripts. So let's go ahead and open up this gun script. First of all, let's go ahead and add few variables like the amount of ammo, the current ammo and the magazine size and so on. So I'm going to go over here and let's add private int and it's going to be the current ammo. I'm going to call it current ammo as well. Also, we need a max ammo variable. So I'm going to add public int and let's call it max ammo. And let's give it the default value 10. And finally, we need to add the magazine size using public int and let's call it magazine size. And let's give it the value 30. Then let's go down here in the start method. I'm going to initialize the current ammo to the max ammo. Then under here we have this fire method, but if you have a shooting method under that method, let's go ahead and decrement the current ammo using current ammo minus minus. So each time we shoot, we are going to reduce this current ammo by one. Then let's save that. But also we need to display the current ammo and the magazine size as well. And for that we need to create few UI elements. So let's go ahead and create UI text under this canvas. I'm going to use right click UI. And let's use the text mesh pro then make sure to import the text mesh pro you could also import the examples as well but we don't need that it's very simple to use this type of text and let's rename it to ammo info text and let's change the position using shift alt i'm going to select this option so we have the text over here then let's go ahead and write an example for example 10 by 30 so let's select the center option also let's go ahead and center it vertically as well then we need somehow to reference this text and change the value depending on the selected weapon. And for that, I'm going to add the code under this weapon switching script. So let's go ahead and open it up. Inside the script, let's go ahead and create the text variable. But first of all, we need to import the text mesh pro using text mesh pro. And under here, let's go ahead and declare public. The type is text mesh pro UGUI. And let's call it ammo info text. So we are going to assign this from the inspector and under the update method we can access the gun script using find object of type gun but we need to reference this variable using gun so the type is gun and let's call it current gun and now we can access the properties like the current ammo so we need to change it to public and let's go ahead and change the text depending on the current selected weapon using ammo text info dot text equals first we need to access the current ammo using current gun dot current ammo then let's concatenate this slash and maybe we need to make a little bit of space then let's concatenate the magazine size using current gun dot magazine size and let's save the script as well then let's go ahead and reference the text so I'm going to select the weapon holder. Then let's go ahead and drag in the ammo text that we've just created. And let's hit play. So by default, we have the default values like the current ammo, it's 10 and the magazine size is 30. And if I try to shoot, the current ammo gets decremented by one each time we shoot. So it's actually working. Even if we change the current selected weapon, because we have the same gun script, we have the same feature as well. But we have one problem, so if I try to shoot, you see that the current ammo is negative. And to do that, we need to adjust the gun script a little bit. So let's go ahead and go back to the gun script. 
and down here we need to check if we didn't have uh, enough uh, ammo we need to return so we won't be able to shoot under the update method let's go ahead and check if the current ammo equals zero and the magazine size as well in that case we need to return but also we need to stop the shooting animation so let's go ahead and use animator dot set ball to change the boolean and it's called is shooting so I'm gonna copy this and let's change it to false if we save this it's not gonna work because we are not changing the magazine size so we need to add the reload functionality and to do that I'm gonna add few variables using public float the first one is gonna be the reload time so I'm gonna call it reload time and let's set it to two seconds by default also we need a boolean to check if we are reloading or not using private bool and let's call it is reloading of course by default it's false and down here after we shoot we need to check if the current ammo equals zero then we need to reload so let's use if the current ammo equals zero and we are not reloading then we need to call some kind of reload function basically we are going to use coroutine and let's go ahead and add this function so the return type is i enumerator first of all let's change the boolean is reloading to true using is reloading equals true and then we need to wait a little bit so that we can reload using yield return new wait for seconds and here let's go ahead and pass in the reload time which we've set to uh, two seconds by default after that we are going to change the current ammo but here we have two cases so if the magazine size is greater or equal to the current ammo or the max ammo in that case we need to set the current ammo using current ammo equals the max ammo and let's go ahead and subtract from the magazine using magazine size maybe we need to rename it to magazine ammo so let's go ahead and use minus equals the max ammo otherwise so else we need to change the current ammo to the magazine size and we need to change it to zero using magazine size equals zero now let's save the script but before that make sure to change the boolean is reloading to false after reloading using is reloading equals false also we are going to add some kind of animation here but for now we are not going to do that or oh, let's go ahead and add it so we are going to create a reloading animation then we are going to play it using animator dot set bool we didn't create this boolean yet but we are going to create one and let's call it is reloading as well I'm gonna set it to true now let's save the script and go back into unity first of all I'm gonna create a reload animation so I'm animating this weapon holder so let's go ahead and create a new clip I'm gonna put it under this animation folder and let's call it reloading then let's hit save I'm gonna hit this record button basically I'm going to rotate this weapon a little bit around the x-axis so we need to rotate it in this direction maybe we need to change the x rotation to 22 and under the animator window we have this reloading animation we need to make a transition so that we can switch between these animations basically we can reload if we are idle run or shoot so I'm gonna make transition from idle to reloading and the same thing from run to reloading and also if we are shooting we can reload then for this transition we need to add parameters so I'm gonna create the boolean parameter which we've called is reloading then here we are going to add the condition but first make sure to remove has exit time and let's add the condition is reloading true the same thing for all of these remove has exit time and add the condition but also we need to be able to go back to the idle animation so I'm gonna create another transition to the idle one the same thing let's go ahead and remove has exit time and the condition now is different so when is reloading is false I think I've made a mistake so we need to make sure to change the boolean as well after we finish reloading so I'm gonna copy this one and over here let's go ahead and change the boolean is reloading to false 
Also, we didn't call this method yet, so let's go over here. Under this if statement, we need to call the method, but this time we use start coroutine. So if you don't know how coroutine works, go ahead and check out the video under this video description. So let's pass in the method reload. And let's go up here. So if we are actually reloading, we need to return as well. So let's check if is reloading. In that case, we need to return. So now let's save the script. So I'm going to try to shoot. And if we go beyond the current ammo, as you can see, we are reloading. Then we can shoot again. And if we have zero ammo, as you can see, we can shoot and we can't reload as well. The same thing for the other weapons. So each weapon has its own properties like the current ammo, the magazine size. So you could change that from the inspector. For example, let's go ahead and change the pistol max ammo to 5 and the magazine size to 20 and for the sniper let's go ahead and change the magazine size to 7 the max ammo to 3 so before I finish this video we have one problem to fix so if I reload and switch the weapon this is going to mess up everything so that's because the core routine is interrupted so let's go ahead and open up the gun script and down here Basically, the start coroutine is interrupted, so we need to make sure to change the boolean is reloading to the default value, which is false. And to do that, we are not going to use the start method, because the start method is called once. So instead of using the start method, let's go ahead and use the onEnable method. So this method is called each time we enable the weapon. So when we enable the weapon, we need to make sure that the boolean is reloading is false. Also, we need to stop the animation using animator dot set boolean and let's change the boolean is reloading to false as well. Now let's save the script and the problem will be fixed. And down here we can reload if the current ammo is zero, but also we need to make sure that the magazine ammo is greater than zero so that we can reload. So let's add and magazine size greater than zero. Now let's save the script and there you go. Now we can shoot. We have the reload functionality even if we switch the weapon and give it back. It's going to restart the reloading. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you have any question or comment, make sure to write it under the comment section down below. Also make sure to hit the subscribe button and ring the notifications bell so that you don't miss any one of my next videos. In the next video, we are going to add the sniper scope effect. So make sure to ring the notification bell so that you don't miss my next video and I will see you in the next one.